Assalamualaikum students. How are you? Today we are not going to deal with psychology or the English learning. Today I thought let's discuss about the American literature. So in American literature we have different writers like uh, the most famous are Robert Frost or Toni Morrison or some others. So I thought let's talk about Beloved uh, and about its themes. So this novel was written by Toni Morrison. She is an American uh, novelist and essayist and the whole of the story revolves around the black slavery. And she wrote this novel after getting inspired by a true incident where uh, Margaret, uh, true uh, personality, I mean the true person, uh, she was a slave and she su gets success in escaping from slavery uh, from Kentucky to a free state, Ohio. So after this incident and reading it in the newspaper, she gets inspired and writes down this novel. So this whole novel revolves around the slavery and misery and cruelty of the white people towards the black slaves. So we have different themes uh, in this novel. The first one is destruction of identity under slavery. As we all know that slavery is a curse and it snatches your identity. We have few points uh, here. The basic theme of this novel is slavery which is physical, which can be physical, emotional and spiritual devastation wrought by the slavery. Okay, so there are different uh, problems occur by the slavery. So you are you're not physically okay, you are you're emotionally damaged, no, you have no spirituality. Characters are haunted by past brutalization and dehumanization. Even after getting free, they, they can't get rid of their past. Paul D. lost his identity and became emotionless. Paul D. was a character in the play and he was also a slave. So he lost his, I mean, sanity and he, he gets, no, no sanity, but he gets emotionless. Sethe, who is the major character, uh, which uh, is actually the, uh, from which he replicates from the Margaret, the original a character. Sethe murdered her own children because she tries to murder her own children because she thinks that it's better to die than to be a slave. Okay. Former slaves lost sense of self. Slaves were told as they were subhumans. They were not treated like equal humans. They were treated as subhumans. Jackson, Till, Aunt Phyllis and Helle went insane. These are few minor characters who went insane just because of slavery. Denver considers her identity with Beloved. So, Beloved is basically the mystery in the play, in the novel, that who is she? Nobody knows. Maybe she's a ghost. Maybe she is the a killed child, the, the child who was killed by Seth. Baby Suggs concept. Baby Suggs was grandmother, concept shattered as a wife, mother-in-law, mother and grandmother. So, she was also a slave and she has the same complexities and complications like other slaves other African slaves. So next one is the importance of community. The overall theme is uh, you can see the importance of community in this play that after getting rid of uh, slavery they become the uh, they become it becomes a shape of community at their house in one to four in Cincinnati. Salvation from slavery after coming in Cincinnati Sethe find solace and salvation upon her escape from slavery. Now things are getting better and now they are transforming their house in the shape of family. Baby sucks acts as pillar of community so she is the senior uh, in the house so, so she acts as a senior member. Paul D and Seth looks forward to the future and at the end of the play they get united. So the importance of community is uh, totally evident in the play the power and limits of language. So here we have uh, two themes, the power and limits of language. One is from the white people, another is from the black ones. White has the powers, white has had the power and uh, black has uh, the limitations in their language. They have substandard variety of English and they had no idea how to use English properly. So school teachers said to six or definition belong to definers, you can read them. So I'm not going to much in detail because uh, I need to take care of the duration of the video as well. So you can pause this video and read these lines. Next is guilt. Guilt was one of the major theme in the play. Sethe lives a life of solitude and remains in guilt of over killing her daughter. She was guilty. 
even she uh, decided to kill her all children so they won't be the victim of slavery but after uh, getting success in killing one of the four she feels the guilt and she remains guilty ghost of beloved always haunted her okay so it's like a mystery and it's like something you can feel he, she had the hallucinations or she was of the view that uh, maybe beloved is the actually the ghost of her killed or murdered daughter beloved beloved remains sate of her guilt how she tried to kill her daughter okay actually beloved who used to stay at their house as a guest reminded sate of her guilt that how she tried to kill her children next one is love love is the primary uh, theme in the play like the definition of love is totally different of the normal love love is of different types in the beloved slavery does not allow for love there was no uh, permission to to love or to be loved paul d feels that love is risky because they were slaves they had the view that they have no right to love or it's risky sathya loves her children so much that she kills her children even uh, the murder by a mother is a form of love uh, depicted in that play next is the supernatural the supernatural element is evident and apparent in the play beloved is anonymous character in the beloved like nobody knows who is she maybe she is a ghost maybe she is a she is a, she is a human being nobody knows who is beloved in beloved mostly in mostly it is considered the ghost of the killed daughter of sethe who came to haunt her about her murder and wanted to revenge her banality of evil Although Garner treated his slaves well, but slavery is a mindset and philosophy which is far-reaching in its consequences. Actually, it is shown in the play that whoever your master is, to to how much uh, extent he or she is kind, but he or she will not consider you the normal human beings or will treat you like the toys, as you can see here in that slide. so whatever the thing is you are slave and you are subhuman so these these were a few themes and here are the references uh, okay so this was all i hope you like this effort and don't forget to comment and subscribe and uh, suggest to your friends thank you allah hafiz